Hi you guys, how you doing? Welcome once again, it's Roger the Shave Lion. Oh, I'm so glad to see you again today. Thank you for joining me. And I want the Lord to bless your socks off. That's what I truly want. I want you to be able to receive from this channel and have it be a blessing for you. All right, you guys, let's get down to it. Today, I'm gonna to be shaving with the Tampa. Hmm, the Tampa Edition Razor. There you go, lovely, lovely, lovely. Yes, indeed. I'm also going to be shaving with the Moto Hit Blade on the top side. Go figure that, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. And today's soap selection is C.O. Bigelow's Premium Shave Cream. There you have it. Never mind the chroma key. It's going to look wonky because the thing is green. Oh, well. <laughs> and also, I picked a green aftershave today. This is Brut, uh, Fabergé Brut Splash On Lotion. There you go. Lovely, lovely, lovely. All right, you guys. That's going to be the shave for today. I'm going to go ahead and grab a brush. I'm going to use my Tampa Shave Company 20, 24 millimeter synthetic brush. I love this brush. It is just a beautiful brush. Okay. Very good. How you guys doing today? I hope God is blessing you every moment every day and today we're gonna focus on that thought putting ourselves first because let me tell you we have to remember that humility is the most important thing when it comes to our Lord he wants you and I to be humble all right you guys I'm gonna go ahead and get this shape going join me for the soaping here we go ladies and gentlemen We've got another lovely shave upon us. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and open this lovely, lovely mentholated style uh, shave cream. And I'm going to put a little bit of my bowl. All right. Now you can't really see that. I'll tip the bowl towards you so that you can see. I'm gonna set that there. And that's how much I put in there. All right, let's hydrate the brush. I'm gonna squeeze all the water out of it that I can. Just let it damp. This brush holds a lot of water. I'm not gonna add any water to it unless I absolutely have to. And now we're gonna go ahead and whip it up. Yes, it's looking famously well. So far, so good. And it's going to be a nice, hot, creamy lather. And I love it. All right. Okay. Now, it doesn't look like much right now. What I'm going to do is add a few drops of water, okay? So I'll just use my fingers, add a few drops of water. I don't want much in there, okay? And now we'll whip it again. That'll probably be good enough on the water. Yeah, it's already whipping up much better. Look at that. And I think I've got it good right here like this. Oh, this is going to be a lovely shape. Nice, thick, and rich. And I like my lather thicker than fluffier. All right. Let's take a look and see what we got here. Well, it certainly is plastered on the bowl, but look at that. That's lovely. Look at that. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. All right, you guys. Let me move this off to the side. I'm going to put this up front center for you to enjoy. And then I'm going to grab God's Word. This little section um, in Luke chapter 20 is about the scribes. And it reads like this. This is uh, Luke chapter 20, verses 45 through 47. And in the hearing of all the people, he said to his disciples, Beware of the scribes who like to walk around in long robes and who love greeting, greetings in the marketplaces and the best seats in the synagogues 
and the places of honor at feasts, who devour widows' houses, and for a pretense make long prayers. They will receive the greater condemnation. All right, there you go. In other words, don't be a scribe. You'll be sorely disappointed in condemnation. All right, well, let's, let's unpack this a little bit. We'll get back to that in just a moment. Join me topside for the shave and the devotion. Hi, you guys. Long time no see. Guess what you did for me today? I will what I'm doing for myself. I have the treat blade in here, the one I've used two or three times. All right, so we're going to give that another try and see how that goes. But first, we have to get that hot to trot towel going on. Yes, the hot to trot towel. Okay. Here we go. Present the towel. Lovely, lovely, and more lovely. Okay, the towel has been done. And now we will commence with the shave. Oh. Look at that lovely leather. Mmm. <laughs> I enjoy it so much. Wow. Beautiful coverage, right? This is why I like to pick the leathers. Alright. And let's get started. So, the scribes were a group of people associated with the synagogues in charge of writing things down. They're scribes. They write. That's their living. You could liken them to a stenographer in court. Really, honestly. You could. Alright, it was their job to record what happened. Much like a church secretary, maybe, or whatever the case might be. Now, Jesus is making kind of a generalized statement about them. And I realized this, you know, after the fact that he's kind of generalizing here. But then again, he's not, because he knows the motives of the people of the time. Alright? He knows their hearts and minds, just as he knows your heart and my mind as well. And so, in the presence of all the people and the disciples, he tells them to beware of the scribes. And then he lists a host of reasons why. And if you summarize everything they put together, it's me, myself, and I. That's what they're about. They're not about the outside. They're really not about being a service to people. They're about themselves. They're inward focused. They're greedy. I mean, come on, you guys. That's what I'm saying here. All right, so far so good. First pass complete. Now for some more leather. 
too bad your face wouldn't shave itself when you put the lather on. Putting the lather on is very, very pleasant. <laughs> so yeah, these scribes like to be the center of attention. It didn't matter where they were. If they were in the public, you know, they wanted to be honored first. If they were in the synagogue, they want to be honored first. I gotta look at this again here. Alright, so, it's saying that they like to walk around in, in long robes and love greetings in the marketplaces. Alright, so they're there, in other words, to look good. They really are. They're there to look good to everybody. But this is a problem because their motives in their lives are wrong and against God's word, which calls us to greater humility, not to bring ourselves up. Okay? You gotta get this straight, my friends. God detests the proud, but he gives grace to the humble. And, you know, why risk not receiving grace? Honestly. Okay. So, they did that. But he goes even further with this, and he says, And the best seats in the synagogue, and the places of honor at feasts. So, again, they only care about me, myself, and I, number one. Now tell me, if that doesn't sound like us Americans. Come on, be honest with yourself. Really. We Americans are very greedy. We're very needy for attention all the time. And we do anything we can in the world to get noticed. Including making shaving videos. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, I'm doing this for the Lord. I pray that I'm doing honor to Him. Anyway, the point is, is that we as Americans often find ourselves living a life that only is focused on oneself. Now, I'm not. This is not a blanket statement about all people in the United States, because obviously that is not the case. But, there's a vast majority of people who act this way. And we're getting ready for the last pass. And, I got a lot of nicks today. What's up with that? Oh well. We'll just have to live with the consequences of that, I guess. So, what do we do about this? We, instead of trying to make ourselves the best, and the foremost, and the most paid attention to, we seek a life of humility. It's been said that being little is greater than being the biggest and baddest. And that is especially true in God's eyes. Because once again, he detests the proud and the haughty. He really does. Don't be fooled, my friends. He does not like arrogance. He does not like pride. He does not like the person who wields himself as the greatest thing since television. I'm sorry, he does not like it. 
I'm not being Nick, but oh my goodness sakes alive. Baby Pud Smooth. Woohoo! <laughs> so there you go. That's pretty much it. Although I do have to mention this. He says, who devour widows, houses, and for a pretense make long prayers. And he ends it up with, they will receive the greater condemnation. How do they devour widows' houses? I'm not exactly certain. Honestly, I'm not sure. But the point is, they do financial damage to people. And the widows, people who who lost their, their significant other, you know what I'm saying? They've lost their husband, they've lost their wife. And, of course, they like to make long prayers for pretense. In other words, their heart's really not in the prayer. It's all about, look at me and how holy I can be. No, it's not. It, that's not a good attitude. Humility includes being honest with yourself. And if you're honest with yourself, if you believe God's word, you know that you only deserve sin and death and eternal damnation. That's the way I feel about myself. That's what I deserve. But thanks be to God through our Lord Jesus Christ, who came into this world to suffer and die for us. He suffered and died for me. He suffered and died for you. And all that grasp on to that wonderful hope of love that he has provided for us. Receive eternal life. He doesn't want you to be proud or arrogant or any of that. He wants you to remain humble, little, insignificant. It's because God uses people just all the time to make greater moves and mightier moves than those who would proclaim themselves from the mountains. All right, enough said. Guess what time it is? It's fast forward time. Well, it's fast forward time. Let it go. <laughs> Success! Alright you guys, and now it is time for the aftershave. The scary part. Scarier than getting a cut on your face, in my opinion. <laughs> oh! Things like a hoo-hoo at first, and then, <sighs> well, <laughs> I can only imagine what that's going to feel like. <laughs> oh, not too bad. Okay. <laughs> I guess the tree blade's a little more aggressive than the, uh, than the head blade, the moto head blade. Oh, it feels good though, and I get to smell fabulous all day long. Thanks to Fabergé. Okay. Alright, you guys. Have a great day in the Lord. Remember, humility is definitely the best position. 
beware of the scribes. You know what they did. And you do not want to become like those people. I'm pleading with you and begging you. Do not be like the average American that only looks out for themselves and only wants to look good. Okay? Alright, you guys. I want the Lord to bless you and keep you. And may He give you Nick Free and Baby Butt Smooth Shapes. Have a great day, everyone! Toodles! <laughs>